Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you this um, makeup tutorial on Edward Scissorhands, which is one of my favorite movies ever from the Tim Burton genius. Um, I'm a bit sad because I have uh, scissors as hands and I can't do anything. I can't hug people I love. I can't dress up all by my own. I can't even pop to the loo, which is very important. And I can't have fun because I can't sleep on a water mattress. So I hope one day I'm gonna find someone who's gonna give me real hands and I'm not gonna have sisters anymore. So my life is gonna be easier. I started by doing my base and mixing two shades of foundations. I used uh, Max Factor Lasting Performance in 100 Fair and um, L'Oreal True Match in shades 1 uh, Ivory. So I'm gonna apply all over my face, on the neck and on the ears as well. And now I'm covering my eyebrows using a pretty thick glue, uh, doing about three layers of glue and uh, covering everything with a concealer of my same skin tone and with some foundation on the top. Everything in place, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Too Much powder in the shades N4 beige and I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush. On the eyebrows, I'm using a MAC Prep and Prime translucent powder and I'm gonna uh, remove the excess with a clean brush. I'm now gonna take some clear latex by Ben Nye, put it in a little bowl and with a little wooden tool I'm gonna start tracing my scars all around my face and I'm helping myself by referring to an Edward Scissorhand picture I have just in front of myself. To have a hole uh, in, in your scar you may help yourself with a little um, pin, uh, hair grip. Remember that the scars don't have to be too precise, so it's better if they are smudgy because they look more real. For trying to match Johnny Depp's nose, I'm pointing my nostrils using a black liner. Now I'm doing the scar on the top of the mouth, which is a splitted scar, so I'm helping myself with the hair creep to make a hole in the middle.
once you finish to trace all scars around your face they're gonna be dry so they look clear and we can go on the top making another layer to make them look bigger and wider and even more three-dimensional I dried everything with the hair dryer and now I'm taking this flesh color by my Supra palette from Cryolan and I'm gonna color all scars one by one and I'm using a Fraulein 38 uh, eyeshadow base brush. some shape to the face and I'm taking the first color from a slick palette medium and um, blush brush from Real Techniques so I want my face to look really chiseled and that's why I'm gonna contour the cheeks under the jaw lines and a bit around the chin area and also on the forehead With an eyeshadow brush I'm gonna take the same color from the same slick palette and I'm gonna trace a line on the top of my eye going downwards and this is gonna give us a really sad expression which is the expression Edward Scissorhands has in all movie and to make my face look even more tired I'm gonna bring the color down my eyes where our dark circles usually are and blend the color downwards onto the eyelid. On my lip I'm gonna bring the same color from the slick palette and I'm gonna intensify the color with the MAC eyeshadow in the color Espresso. Just in the center I'm gonna put also some matte black shadow from my screen face palette and always with the espresso eyeshadow from MAC I'm gonna intensify the corners of the eyes and the dark circles area. And now I'm gonna take just a little bit of red and I'm gonna put it in the corners of the eyes. This is gonna make us look extremely tired. Now I'm taking the same color I use for contouring with a flat eyeliner brush and I'm gonna uh, place it under each scar. And on the top I'm gonna put some white. Uh, so this is gonna give us a more 3D effect and I'm gonna blend everything with a clean brush.
this is the white eyeshadow I used for the top part of the scars. It's just a normal matte white eyeshadow. Now it's time for the hair. You really need a big back combing all over your head and you can use loads of different products like a, a hair gel or wax or even fixing spray. This is me with my scissor hands. One thing I didn't tell you about having scissor hands is that I always finish to cut myself and then I've got blood coming out and when I try to fix my scar I got blood all over my face because I keep cutting myself. So that's the sad story of my life and I really hope someday I'm gonna meet a new inventor which is gonna give me new hands and I'm not gonna have to use my sister hands anymore. And for now, I'm just gonna retire in my castles away from all human people. So bye guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and you enjoyed it watching. Thank you for your time. If you loved it, please subscribe to the channel and follow me on my other social media. Thank you, bye bye.